In this video, I'm going to give some internals of Kubernetes networking with Flanders in mind. As many people are using Kubernetes service, but people have less understanding of how Flanders CMI works with Kubernetes networking. I'm going to uh, introduce that by intercepting traffic with TCP dump. So this is a uh, so this is a lab setup. I have two worker nodes and uh, running Flannel CMI. And uh, I also spawned two Nginx pods. And uh, from one Nginx pod, I will, just, I will just use curl to send traffic to the other pod on the other worker node. So this is the nav setup. As you can see that uh, all the Kubernetes servers are running right there. And uh, I'm using the Kubernetes Flano CMI. And uh, let's see the configurations of Flano. As you can see, I'm running with VXNAN as backend for Flana. And uh, also, I have one mass node and two worker nodes. And to finish the lab setup, I'll also I also have one deployment right here. As you can see, it's engine deployment with two ports. One port is uh, with this IP on worker two, and one port with this IP on worker one. So based on the level setup, I'm going to send the traffic from from the port of vocal 1 to the port of vocal 2. Basically, I'm going to send the traffic from this port to this port. So let's go to vocal 1. Let's exact into the engine port. This is the engine port. And this is a vocal 2. As you can see, Nginx is also running right here. So let's start using TCP dump. The first thing is that uh, when we send the traffic from this port to this port, we want to know from source uh, host that uh, whether the CMI0 bridge that uh, received the traffic or not. Let's verify. This is also the worker one. As you can see, this is the CMI bridge in worker one. I'm going to run. I'm going to run TCP dump right here. With port eighty. So let's start using some traffic. This is the IP. Go back here again. This is the IP of port on the worker two. Let's, yeah, let's generate traffic. As you, as you can see, it goes through, and we can see the TCP packets that are received on CMI zero bridge of worker one. Let's see the packets. This is the port one IP. This is the port two IP. As you can see. The first three packets are the standard CNAC handshake. Port 1 send uh, SYN to port 2, and port 2 replied with CNAC, and port 1 also replied with NAC. After that, port 1 send gate request to port 2, and port 2 replied with ACK. 
and then port two reply the, to port one with HTTP response. So uh, as we can see, when port one sent traffic to port two, the CMI bridge here received the traffic. And uh, let's, let's verify this. When port one send the request to port two, uh, based on the last uh, experiment that uh, we know CMI zero has received the, the request or the traffic. Let's see whether Flanner received the traffic or not. Let's verify that. As you can see, there is a Flanner interface run right here. So I'm going to run TSV dump on that. Also with port 80. Let me send traffic again. As you can see, we based on this, we also receive the traffic. The standard CMI, HTTP request, HTTP response from port two. Back to this diagram, we know Flanner interface also received the traffic, and then. Uh, as we just saw that Flannel is running with VXLAN backend. So let's, let's check if there are 8472 is running. Here is, uh, here I'm only uh, Moco1 node. Let's see if 472 is running right there. Uh, let me run again. As you can see, uh, the Flanner Flanner D is running right here with UDP. So here, uh, Flanner uh, plays the trick that uh, as we are running the VXMO, the uh, the port IP will be encapsulated with another IP packet. So, so let's check, let's run TCP dump on FlannerD to see how the traffic, how the packets are encapsulated. Let's see what's the, we see that uh, this is the host Host, uh, host IP address. Let's run this video on there. Because, because as we just see, Flanner is running on port uh, 8472. If we still running on port 82, we cannot see the traffic, even if we send this again. As, as we can see, there's no traffic showing right, right here. So we have to change the port to 8472. Let's see if there are traffic here. We there are traffic uh, from TZ dump. For now, uh, for each packet, we could see that uh, besides the besides the port IP, we also see the host host IP because Flannel D encapsulates the uh, the packets from pod into the IP packets of the host. So that's why we see both host IP and uh, pod IP. For these three, uh, for these three packets. At the standard and uh, CMI, and then we we could see the packets uh, for the HTTP request again. And uh, if you notice that we have OpenA on TCP dump showing that it's the uh, OpenA network, and uh, and Flanner is using UDP to forward the packets.
and this is a HDV response back to this diagram. So we know that uh, uh, FlannelD did encapsulate the, the port packets into the packets with host IP. And uh, and we have already seen this host IP from the NASA experiment. So till now, we know that uh, when we send traffic from port one to port two, that we know that uh, there are traffic uh, in CMI zero of local one, in Flannel, also in Flannel D, and then this this packet will be forwarded out through the interface of local one host. So uh, let's go to verify verify from a local two node to see if it actually receive the traffic or not. This is a worker 2 node. And uh, this is the first thing. Let's verify the worker 2 uh, EP, uh, EMP 0 S3 interface to see if worker 2 has received a traffic or not. Let's run TCP. This is the interface of node 2. Let's run TCP down for only. There are too much traffic. And uh, we need to A472. Let's send the traffic from port 1 of no, no one again. As we can see, the node 2 did receive the traffic. We have seen the similar pattern because uh, the node 2 could only see the OVNA packets of VXLAN. So we see both port IP and uh, node IPs right here. The CNAT, the request, also the HTTP response. So back to this diagram, we know that the traffic uh, did uh, uh, received uh, from the worker 2 node. Uh, and then let's check whether uh, Flannel uh, D also running on 8472 ports of Worker 2. Flannel is running right here. 8472. We know it did run right here. A four seventy two. Yeah, it's it it running, it did running running right here. And then, uh, let's check uh Flano, uh let's check whether Flano interface has received the traffic or not from Worker two. That's the Flano interface. Let's do that. Maybe. Um, no, should be this way. Let's send traffic from port one again. As you can see, for now we could only see the port IP. This is a standard CNAC. This is the HTTP request. This is the HTTP response. Because we have already gone through Flannel D that uh, the host IP packet have already been un unpacked. So when we when we are here uh, in Flannel point one interface, we can only see the packets of IP. As what it, what it showed in the uh, TCP dump. So let's also verify the CMI0 bridge of Vocal2 to see if it received traffic or not. So let's run that. This is the CMI0 interface. Let's run TCP down. 
180. Let's descend the traffic again. As you can see, we also see the similar traffic. And uh, yeah, we can do furthermore style that I can enter the engine port of Vocal 2 to run TCB down right there. That's the engine port. Let's run TCB now. Uh, let me. Install TCB down first. Okay, I'm going to TCB down just around this. Should be enough. The same traffic again from port one. As we can see, in port two, we did receive the traffic. It's as you can see right here. It's Calling the port to 80, 80 ports request and they respond. So that wraps that uh, all the stuff today. So I hope that uh, I can give you a concrete understanding how the Flanner works with the Kubernetes networking. And you can set up your environment and uh, try, try yourself. Thank you.